Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Transatlantic SF-OP31LH-AL. SF stands for storefront from Transatlantic, from the storefront section of your catalog. The OP31 is the type of pivot that this is, which is also synonymous with arch and vista wall style. Left hand is, the, of course, the hand of the door. These are handed pivots. You must do left or right hand. And then, of course, the finish. The AL is aluminum, and it's available in aluminum and dark bronze, which would be the DU finish. So if you substituted the AL for DU and the LH and the RH, you'll be able to find all four possibilities of this pivot. Let's go over it. Let's start at the very bottom. And speaking of the bottom, there is a link below this video to a document called Product Brochure just uh, some documentation on this item and some sister products. More importantly, there's a link below this video to the installation instructions. The installation instructions for this are fairly good. Uh, they give all of the important dimensional details that you need if you're preparing a new frame for this. In terms of uh, the slots that you need to prep in the header uh, and in the bottom of the uh, pivot jam gives you the location for the screws, give you the sizes of the holes necessary, um, and is very simple and straightforward. Uh, it's all there. When you study it for just a minute, you'll find all the dimensions that you need. This video is not going to go into the step-by-step -step installation of that stuff. Primarily, people buying this, this from us are doing a replacement. Um, if you're doing a new installation, by all means, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, for uh, help with interpreting the template, the installation instructions. It's quite simple and straightforward. Let's start with a visual tour. This is a left-hand version that you see here. So from your perspective, the door swings out like a right-hand reverse would, but it's a left hand. And this is obviously the floor portion. You're going to have your bottom stud, your set screw. You will be able to loosen that and then give yourself a small amount of adjustment. It's maybe as much as a quarter inch. I'm not picking up qu uh, quickly in the installation instructions what that adjustability is, but I, I wouldn't hesitate to say that it's quarter inch. Tighten that set screw back down. Your notch in the bottom of the jam needs to be 15 16 wide uh, is the prep, and then I think about 3 8 tall. Yeah, that's correct. That's on there. And you're going to get that piece, and you're going to get it put in there should you need to be doing a full replacement. Obviously, you need to notch the threshold to accommodate this floor portion. And then, moving up, the you know what, let's go with dimensions on every piece. Uh, help you possibly determine if this is what you need. The floor portion, you can see here, is about an inch and 5 sixteenths. The overall is about an inch and 7 eighths. The height of that leg that's buried behind the jam is about an inch and 3 quarter. Overall length, about 2 and 15 sixteenths. And this is going to be referred to as a three-quarter offset, meaning the vertical axis of pivoting from the face of the door is three-quarter inch. That's what that means. Then you're going to have your door portion. That bearing that's in there is going to sit right down onto the bottom spindle, and that's what you're going to be presented with. Okay. Now these port, uh, the bottom door portion, and for that matter, the top door portion, which I have in my hand here. They're dimensionally identical, so I'm just going to measure one and then show you the second. Here we go. Overall height of the door portion, about an inch and three quarter. In studying the location of the screw holes, this is the top. You can see where your, your uh, holes are tapped. You're about three eighths from the top and then down to about an inch and five sixteenths. The width, uh, the overall height of that is again an inch and three quarter. The width, about an inch and three eighths. Mm -hmm. The projection, about an inch and a quarter. Okay. Uh, screws are included for your door uh, portions, top and bottom, just typical hex cap screws. Okay. Screws are also, of course, included for the frame uh, where you're going to attach it to the jam and then attach the top of your threshold with the longer machine screws would be really nice. Get your threshold notched, fit it, 
countersink it and secure it right down to the top of the pivot would be good. Uh, here is your top por uh, portion with that spring-loaded uh, top pin, which will mate, of course, into the header portion. Properly installed, you'll have an eighth of an inch margin there. Okay, And obviously, when you get the door, all the hardware installed, you'll get the door down onto the bottom pivot. You'll get this set, then you'll be able to tip the door into place. Push that down, snap it in right into the hole that's here, and that's your installation. Now your header portion has an overall depth, about a two and three sixteenths, a thickness at its maximum at about seven eighths. Again, that's a three quarter inch offset. Uh, this unit is not indicated if it's for a flush style, but I know that, let's take a look. Yeah, this has to be a flush style pivot where the face of the door and the face of the jam are flush when you're on the pull side. That's proven by the fact that this is gonna butt right to the face of the jam and then to the center line of the uh, hole for the top pin is three quarter inch. If if this was if the door was meant to be inset, that dimension would have to be of course less. Okay, so three quarter inch offset. Very, very close there. That door is going to end up being inset an incredibly minute amount anyway. Now, uh, the vertical adjustment was an eighth of an inch, uh, not a quarter inch. I've corrected myself. The rest of the dimensions for the uh, item that we have here, the top portion, you can see where the screws lie. About three-eighths of an inch butting from the underside here where it will hit the face of the header, then about three quarter inch back, okay? Yeah, the door will be slightly inset. It's not gonna be quite an eighth of an inch, but it will be slightly inset. The fact of the matter is, after having reviewed that f further, the OP31, and, and measuring the dimensions, this is technically an eighth of an inch inset model. It might be closer to 330 seconds, but the door will be ever so inset into the face of the frame. So that is typical and common for this item, uh, for it to be recessed that very small amount. Okay, that's where that's going to work. Now, let's take a look at... Uh, the one dimension I didn't give you from the top piece is the center of those two screw holes, about 3 sixteenths and then down to about 15 sixteenths. I realize we're beleaguering all the dimensions, but the point of the matter is it, I'm, I, it, it's with the hope that it helps you determine if this is the accurate item for your needs. Uh, and then again, screws for the top portion, which you cut that slot into the header, this will slide in. You'll have holes countersunk, and it will go right into those tapped holes that are there in the top of the header. Uh, of, again, available lefts and rights, aluminum, dark bronze. Uh, the name uh, Transatlantic is synonymous with very good quality, reasonable, very reasonably priced imported hardware for commercial applications. If you're looking for good value when it comes to hinges, door closers, exit devices, and lock sets, it's a great, great start. If you do tenant build out and you do some standard duty commercial kind of work, Transatlantic, you might love. I personally am very partial to their door closers. I bet in 25 years that the amount of failures that I've had with a Transatlantic closer, I can count on one hand and probably use only fingers. You know, <laughs> small is what I'm trying to say, so I'm partial to them for that 
reason. If you have any questions on the Transatlantic SF dash OP31 dash, pardon me, OP31 LH dash AL uh, storefront pivot style uh, set of pivots or any other transatlantic product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.